All right, welcome back to the Krabby Dice. Today we're going to be looking at the Voyages of Marco Polo. So this is going to be the review and playthrough video. The review is coming right up. Uh, just click on the link below if you want to see the rules and setup video. All right, so uh, what are we doing in this game? Well, at its heart, it's just a dice placement game. We're going to be placing our dice, uh, doing a bunch of different actions. And the theme is we're going to be crossing uh, the Asian map here to get bonuses. And that all the bonuses will help us complete contracts. But you know what? It's a Euro person with the most points at the end of the game is going to win the game all right so uh let's get started three things though before we start please like subscribe and comment on my youtube channel that would be amazing let's go all right quick review time here for marco polo so this is gonna be a quick one because i don't really have that many negative things to say about the game to be honest um i think there's a very good reason it's in the top 100 on bg just because it's just an overall solid solid game um, for me personally, it's got some of my favorite mechanisms in games. It's got dice placement, it's got recipe fulfillment, it's got player powers, um, but just not player powers. It's got superpowers. All right, it's, these are some of the most game-breaking powers you can find in any game. And you know, let's be honest. When this game came out, this is where everyone gravitated towards and what everyone was talking about. Right, these powers will let you break the game and you, you you know you're gonna be playing and you're gonna feel like everyone's power is overpowered uh, but it ends up averaging out in the end i mean some people say that some are better than others uh, i mean maybe slightly but i've seen most of these different characters win uh, so to me they seem uh, pretty balanced now that being said uh, the one great thing about these powers is that not only does it make you feel unique, which I already mentioned, but it adds a ton of variety into the game. All right, so uh, depending on the character you get, it's gonna change up how you play the game. All right, no game's gonna feel the same because of that character. All right, you can have a character that lets you start in Beijing, a character that gives you free resources or contracts. I mean, a character that lets you set your dice to whatever number you want. So if you have that guy that always complains that he rolls low, give that guy that character so you can not even have to roll his dice throughout the whole game and just set it to whatever he wants. All right, so a lot, a lot of variety in, in the game. Also, the board state at the start, you know, set up completely different every time. So there's a lot of variety there too. Um, what else can we talk about? Um, the game does introduce a lot of cleverness as well. Uh, I don't know if there's a word for this, but you can sort of have these mundane turns where you're only doing one or two things, but then you can... Because of you get free actions in this game that you can do whenever you want, you can end up with these turns where you do like a million things. Like you can fulfill two contracts for free, which gives you two bonuses. Then you do your main action and then do a bunch of free bonus actions after. So you can have these amazing, uh, really uh, great feeling turns throughout the game. And, you know, everyone's going to end up with one of those and it just makes you feel clever and makes you feel good, which is great. Um, let's just talk about player count here for a second. Uh, the game changes up a little bit depending on the player count because the game doesn't really scale all that much. I mean, besides a couple of dice here in the favor section. Uh, so the game is a little bit more open at 2 than at 4. I actually prefer the game at 4 more than 2. At 2, you sort of do always want to roll high because there's a lot more open spots so you want to get more bang for your buck by rolling high. But at four, this game is brutal, right? It's like a knife fight in a telephone booth. Uh, there's all the spots end up getting taken constantly. You're gonna be hemorrhaging money because every time you wanna play a die, you're gonna have to pay the bank some cash. Um, so it's really fun and really, really engaging uh, at four players. Uh, also at four, you do really wanna roll a mixture of low dice and high dice because you do need those low dice so that you don't have to pay you know five or six coins every single time you want to do an action uh, that's just going to torpedo your round if you're you're hemorrhaging that much cash throughout the game uh, so overall this is just a really solid game uh, just some other benefits here there's almost no a real ap in the game um i mean besides somebody taking a spot you were just about to go to it might slow the game down again but you know be because a lot of the spots everyone can go to you just have to pay money uh, you're not really blocking it off, all right? So uh, the game will flow quite well. Uh, the iconography is just amazing in the game. I really love the way the board looks as well. So that's all good stuff. Um, there's just one minor flaw that I just wanted to bring up here because a lot of people sort of said this already. 
uh, the contract strategy might be more powerful than the travel strategy. Um, I mean, to do both, you sort of need to do both either way, but you can sort of lean a bit more on the contract strategy because it does give you a lot of points and a lot of bonuses by doing contracts. Uh, for doing traveling, you do need to do a lot of contracts as well. You can't just do traveling. I don't even think it is possible. Uh, you'll just get destroyed and you won't have enough resources to do anything if you just do contracts. So I just wanted to mention that. So on six, what do I give this game? Well, um, originally I was going to give it a six, but I did play part two, which I like slightly better than this one. So I'm going to give that one a six. I'm going to give this one a five. I'm just going to drop it a little bit. Um, so there you go. So my playthrough is coming up. I hope you like it. If not, we'll see you in the next one. Later. All right. So welcome to the Voyages of Marco Polo playthrough. All right. So this is going to be a three player game. I'll be red. Let's see if my camera works. Yep. Playing against green and yellow. I'm going to be first player. If you've never seen one of my playthroughs, I'm going to start going slow at the beginning, teach you all the mechanics and what's going on. And then later I'll try to speed it up so that I don't drag this video on forever. And you'll sort of know how the game works. All right, so this is going to be the expert variant. All that really means is going to be three changes. One, the blue uh, city bonuses are going to be shuffled. Second is we're going to do a reverse draft for our player power. And third is we're going to actually take four cards for our end game bonuses and pick two out of four. So I already did all that stuff already, even though you're supposed to do it after just to save some time. And we're just going to do our pre-draft selection right now. So it is a uh, three player game. So we're going to pick four of these. All right, we're going to flip them over. And the last player is going to pick first. All right, so uh, I think the last player is definitely going to take this one because this is a pretty good power, and I love it. So whenever he places dice, he can just play whatever numbers he wants. He doesn't have to roll his dice. It's perfect. All right, it's going to make it simple for yellow. I don't have to roll his dice for the rest of the game. All right, so uh, what does green want to do? Um, I think green's going to take this one because this is a really powerful one, and honestly, it might be overpowered. <laughs> lets you get free contracts, and you get an extra die. All right, so... I'm going to go get that white die, give it to him, and he's going to add that white die every single round to his rolls. So let's give him the green. All right, let's give him the white die. So let's roll it out, put it on his player board. All right, and I got to choose between these two. Um, both of these deal with traveling, and honestly, in this game, you sort of want a power to help you get contracts because that's sort of a go-to uh, winning strategy here. But I'm going to, you know... Uh, mix it up a little. I think I'm going to go for this one that gets me two guys out on the board. Why not? Uh, I've never tried them, tried him, and seems like an underwhelming power, but you know what? Maybe I can make it work. So let me put this down here. And basically, I'm going to get another character to place on Venezia. So let me get my other character. There we go. And he's going to go up here. So now I got two guys to control out on the board. Maybe I'll visit more places, get more bonuses, so on and so on. All right, and we're ready to go. So what do you do at the start of a round? Pretty simple. Oh, by the way, before I start, uh, since we're playing three players, uh, there's one less die, uh, black die, and we block off this spot here. If you're playing two players, you're gonna block off both spots here. Four or five players, everything's open, okay? So, beginning of the round, take our dice. No, normally I'm gonna do this on my player board area, but just to show you, give it a good roll. Wow, that's, those are some high numbers. All right, we're gonna place these right up here all right and i'm first to go i get the first action of the game so hmm, interesting now because uh, i have two characters there i think one of my goals will be to sort of uh, move my guys all right and you know what i just thought of a an amazing combo right off the start of the game and this game makes you feel clever like that by doing these combos so look what i'm gonna do so dice placement spots basically there's the bazaar there's the favor, there's contracts, there's movement, and there's just getting money places, all right? But let me show you a cool combo. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use one of my um, sixes and my twos. The reason I'm giving up a six is because um, I'm not gonna have much money, so I'd rather give up a six than a four, at least a four will cost me less money later on. But either way, I'm gonna place this right away. Now there's a rule in this game. If you're the first one to do an action, you don't have to pay anyone. But if you're second or third, you need to pay the cost of your lowest die. Anyway, we'll get to that rule later. But right now there's nobody there. I'm gonna do this action right away. All right, so the power of the action is the lowest dice, die, however you say it. So it's gonna be two. So I'm gonna be doing this one here. 
right? Again, you can pick any action before it, but I really want to move twice. So this one's going to be pay $7 to move two times. All right, that's what I'm going to do. Pay $7. It's going to be all my money. Pick $7, put in the general supply. And now I get two movement. All right, so let's do the movement. So the first one I'm going to do is go one, two to visit the large city over here. And that's going to be my movement. All right, but because I was the first one to visit this city here, this city allows me another movement. Pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my other guy because I ended up with that special power and move him down one spot. And now because he's the first one to visit this one, I get five coins. Go back here, take five coins. Put in my general supply. All right, there you go. All right, now uh, I do have to put a trading house on both these spots because it's the first time I visit them. So I'm going to put them here and here. And now just for me, because I'm the only one with trading houses there, I can actually use those cards as a worker placement spot in the future. Uh, the other characters will need to go on those spots to sort of activate it as well. All right, but for now, that's a pretty good start. All right, so now let's go to the other players. All right, so green has made a selection. I think what green's gonna do is they're gonna go five and six over here. So they're the first ones there. They don't have to pay anything. The power of this action is gonna be five. So they're gonna go to the five slot here. They're gonna get three purple resources. Uh, one, two, three. All right, they're also gonna get a coin and a camel. And there you go, pretty much done. Now, yellow's gonna go next. Yellow's got a special power again. He can put dice however, uh, whatever number he likes. And what he's gonna do is mess with us. He's gonna play a six right over here. Now, when you place in this section here, you always have to place uh, equal to or lower, uh, higher than the previous dive. So by placing a six here, he's forcing us to place sixes here, which is a pretty good move on his part. And that's sort of what you wanna do with that character uh, often. So he's looking here, he's gonna get two camels and one of any good. So he's gonna get us two camels. And the good that he wants is obviously the gold one because those ones are rare. All right, and there you go. Circle back up to me. So what dice do I have left? I do have a six left and I do want the gold as well so that I can uh, try to fulfill this contract. So I'm gonna take my six. I'm gonna play it here. All right, I'm gonna get my gold. And I'm gonna get two camels as well. All right, all right. So greens up next. Um, think he's the contract guy. He's gonna try to just fulfill as many contracts as he can this game. Um, so what he's gonna do is he's actually gonna use his six on the coffee, and um, you know he'll go for the four coffee. Why not? While he's there, so he's gonna take four of the coffee or black resources. Is it coffee? Is it? Uh, I don't know. I just call it brown resources. <laughs> it's not really important. And what he's going to do is going to fulfill a contract. So what he's going to do is going to turn in one brown, one purple, and two camels to fulfill this contract. And what he's going to get is going to get five points. So he's the first one on the board. Points are calculated on the outside of the board. And the benefit of this tile is he gets another contract. So whenever you see this sign, you get it from the special contract uh, stack. So he's going to put this on his board. We're going to discard all this. And he's going to get another contract. Thankfully, he got a lot of that brown resource. Now he just needs a lot of gold. And this one's a lot of points. He's going to put that on his board. All right, and then yellow is going to go next. Um, yellow also needs a brown resource to fulfill a contract so that's what he's gonna do he's gonna place a six because he doesn't have to pick his dice remember he's gonna play it here he's actually gonna coffee uh, and two camels he had the option to go here but the problem is if he goes here he's gonna have to pay money and he'd rather save his money to travel next turn so he's gonna get two of these and the brown resource All right but he's gonna also fulfill a contract so he's gonna fulfill this one so he's going to give up also a gold one. So pretty much that die paid for the whole contract itself. Let's discard this. All right. And fulfilling a contract is a bonus action, which means it doesn't cost you an action. It's just free. You can just do that anytime. All right. So uh, what he's going to do is going to get four points. All right. 
and he's gonna get a black die. He doesn't even have to roll it. Normally, whenever anyone else gets the black die, they have to roll it, but because you can set it to any number, we'll just give it to him on the six side, just as a reminder. All right, and this one's completed. All right, so here we go. So now back up to me. So what do I want to do? Um, I do need a purple to finish off this contract, which would be nice. I would also love another movement, but it's almost impossible because I already have my dice there and it's really hard to get two black dice on the same turn to do another movement. You'd have to pick, sorry, you'd have to pay six camels in total for that. Um, plus the camels that you need to move on the map it makes it kind of hard. Um, I mean, I could technically put a very high number here and get five camels and then spend six camels for two black. Actually, you can only use one black. You can only purchase one black die a turn. So that wouldn't even be possible. Uh, so never mind. Um, uh, so what should I do? Uh, he stole my spot for my uh, my purple. I would have loved to have gone there to get the purple. I can't do the movement. Um, debating whether I should get another contract. Um, I do have two dice. I s could spend one on camels. Um, I mean, look. I technically could finish my contract by putting this here, but then it'll cost me $4 to get three purple, uh, which isn't the end of the world, because then I can give up a camel and a purple to get $8, which is a lot of money. Um, so sure, let me do that and I'll... Sh Might be a mistake, but yeah, let me do that and I'll just show you how that works. So I'm going to go here. So it's going to cost me $4, which is insane because I only have five. <laughs> So I'm going to give up almost all my money, get one back. All right. I wish I kept that six last time. That was my mistake. You know what? Let's just pretend small errata. Let's pretend I kept my six just so I can show you what happens. So that would cost me an extra dollar cause an extra five. Sorry. I'm cheating a little <laughs> just so I can get this one here. Uh, and this one is going to be one coin, one camel and three purples. One, two, three. One coin and one camel. Now I'm going to fulfill my contract. So let's keep my coin here. So my contract says two camels. So one, two, a purple and a gold. So I'm going to get rid of this and fulfill my contract. My contract says get two of any goods and score four, uh, but they can be the same. So you see it says two not equal. So I'm going to take a purple and a gold and four points. So put these back here. I'm going to get a purple and a gold and I'm going to score four points. So everyone's sort of completed one contract. All right, I'm pretty much out of dice. <laughs> so let's finish off the other players turns and finish off the round. All right, so green's going to go. Uh, he still has a lot of dice. So he's going to play his die right over here to get five coins. All right, just so you can get ready for his movement next turn. Then yellow's going to go. And yellow has no contract, so what he's going to do, he's going to play a six right over here. And I think he's going to take this one. And he's going to take this one. All right, by taking this one, he either gets two coins or two camels. I think he's going to get the two coins. For right now, he's going to take these two contracts. So the way this spot works is you either take one contract if you have only one spot available, or two contracts if you have both spots available. So this is going to slide down. And I'm out of dice. So you basically just skip my turn. All right, then uh, green's gonna go. And I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna use their two dice over here to do a movement. All right, so because the lowest number that he's playing is a three, he's gonna have to pay three coins right away. So one, two, three, there you go. Now, he can do this movement if he pays 12. Does he have 12? No, he's at 11, so he has to do this one. So he's gonna pay 10, take back three. One, two, three. All right, and he gets to move twice. Uh, looking at his goals, I'm just going to look at his goals quick, quick. Uh, he sort of wants to go in the middle route uh, and the bottom, but the more of the middle stuff. Um, uh, maybe he didn't think this through because... Uh, you know what he's going to do then? He's just going to move once. Because he sort of wants to go down the middle and he doesn't have the money to go by here. Or the camels to go by there. So... I'm just going to take back $4 instead. 
Sorry about that. And he's gonna move once and he's just gonna move down here. Which allow him to play the house. And next turn he's gonna have enough money, he's gonna come by here and then go through the middle, which is probably what he wants to do. Alright, then yellow's gonna go. And yellow again can pretty much set his dice to whatever he likes. Um he's still got three dice and he's the only one with dice, so he's just gonna be the one uh his last three actions are gonna finish off the round. Uh so what does he wanna do? He does need a lot of gold. This would be insane. He can literally do this on here to get four gold. But that's kind of a waste. Uh, to be honest, I don't think he needs that right now. Uh, he does want to move his character. You, do, you do want to move at least once every round. It's probably a good idea. So uh, let me look at his gold cards. So he sort of wants to go by the top and go around. So he's going to follow me up there. So let him do that. So he's going to set these to both twos because remember his power. He's going to pay $2 for that. One, two. All right, and then he's going to move twice. So that's going to be $7. Five, six, seven. All right, and he's going to go one, two. And he's going to put a house. All right, and now he's got one die left. Uh, what can he do with it? He can set it to any number he wants. Uh, I think because he needs a lot of purple, well he needs a lot of purple and there's no purple to be gotten with one die. Um, so what he's going to do, he's going to get ready for next turn. I think he's going to, whoops, I think he's going to set this as a 5. Although he has to pay 5 coins if he does that. He only has 2 coins left. Um, it's not much he can do with this. So what he's going to do is he's going to set this to a 6 and get a ton of camels. <laughs> There's not much. He, or he could have gone there, but he doesn't have any purple uh, goods. So that's what he's going to do. He's just going to go here. He's going to get six camels. So he's gonna, we'll just give him two sets of three uh, camels. So he's got a ton, a ton, a ton of camels. Right now he's sitting at uh, 10 camels. So he's pretty good. All right, so there you go. That's the end of the round. All right, we all finished our dice. That's it. So what do you do at the end of the round? Pretty simple. You're just going to take out all these tiles. Toss them out of the game. Use your new stack. So the game's gonna last five rounds. So round two, three, four, and five. So we're gonna place these on the board. They're all upside down. All right, there you go. Second thing you're gonna do is um, all your blue cities or uh, exclamation points uh, now get goods. All right, so this is the start of a round, okay? Now at the start of a round, before you even roll your dice, uh, the first thing you're gonna do is figure out who the new first player is, and it's gonna be yellow because they're on the top of the uh, stack of the travel action here. All right, so we'll give them that. Uh, next, you're gonna get all your exclamation points. So nobody's on a blue city, so nobody's gonna get exclamation points there, but I do have one over here. So I'm gonna get a camel. I'm gonna get a camel. Uh, green is going to get a free contract, that's what he gets every single turn from the special contract deck and uh, yellow doesn't get anything with his character. Next we retrieve our dice. Well, green's going to get the white one as well and I'm going to get my dice and the black ones always go back to the supply over here. All right, and now we get to roll. All right, so let's roll my dice. Oh, wow, that is some really high dice. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna need a lot of cash to pay for these actions this round. So I'm gonna play this on my board. All right, but I am not first player. It's gonna be yellow. So they're up first. What do they wanna do? So I think what they're gonna do is jump on this uh, action. Oh, actually, they don't even have the cash for it. Um, their problem is they have no cash, they're like me. And to do even one movement, it costs three, but they only have two cash. Sorry for the lag. Um, so they need a way to get money. So I think what they're going to do, pretty simple. Uh, they're just going to put a one. That's, yeah, one over here. Doesn't really matter what number you place here. You're just going to get five dollars. Right, there's no real easier way. Actually, wait, there is an easier way because he's up there with me. And he has a ton of camels. So let's take that back. I think what he's going to do. He's going to stock up on purple goods so that in the future he can give up camels and purple for a ton of cash. So he's going to play two sixes on purple because remember he gets to pick his dice and he's going to have four goods from the general supply. So I'm going to give him his four goods. 
All right, now it's gonna jump to me. All right, because I'm on the left of yellow. So what do I want to do? I'm cash poor as well. Um, <laughs> uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think what I'm gonna do is, uh, <sighs> I do need contracts. I got no contract, but I also do want purples because I am broke and I could have done the exact same thing that, uh, um, uh, that yellow just did but what I have to do is sort of go on that spot before yellow does because that is a first come first serve spot because that is a brown action spot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use up my three and actually go here and I'm gonna activate that spot three times which might seem insane but I feel like I'm going insane so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give up three camels and three purples for 24 coins I don't think I'm gonna worry about money for a while so I'm gonna give up three purples and three camels and that's gonna give me twenty four dollars here's twenty four all right so there you go that should keep me good for a while for cash all right so now let's go to green and green has a ton of stuff. Uh, I mean, green's over here. He wanted to go over here. He can sort of do that now. But if he moves twice, that's going to cost him $14. And he doesn't have $14. He has $8. Um, so he needs a $6 somehow. Um, there's no real way for him to get $6. Although he could finish this contract here. And that'll give him a movement. And then he just has to move one time afterwards which is probably a good idea. And this one's going to give him $5 every turn, which is great. Um, so he does need a lot of gold for that. Uh, so what he's going to do is... Yeah, he's going to do it. He's going to spend three dice over here. Um, actually, before he does that, sorry. What he's going to do, he's going to spend a one over here to get uh, a gold and two camels. So let him do that first get one of the goals and I'll give him his camels that he can move his dice up and down all right so there you go that's the first of his moves now we're gonna go back to yellow so yellow sort of got shafted because he got all those purple so you can do that action but I sort of stole it under his nose and now he doesn't really have uh, any other option uh, I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna use one of his uh, dice and here because he doesn't have any other choice to get money and this will give him five coins Right, now he's at seven. Maybe he'll get to move this round. All right, he just needs one movement to get to the next city. So, uh, you know, he just needs to pay one for his dice there plus the three. So that's going to be just enough. All right, now we're going to jump back up to me. And I'm full of cash. Um, I am think I'm good for now. I think what I'm going to do is play a four uh, over here. Because I do need two camels and I mistakenly uh, did not think that through by giving up all my camels because this is going to give me two more camels so I can do my movement here. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to play my four here and it's going to give me two camels and I think I will take a gold while I'm at it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to take a gold while I'm here and two camels. Alright, so I'm going to have to use one of these dice for movement and probably the other one to get contracts. Uh, actually, I just thought of something. I should have given up my six because for my movement, I'm pretty sure I don't want to pay five considering I just want to move two anyway. Um, although I could technically move three, but it'll cost me a ton of camels. So it cost me one, two, and I would need three extra camels up there. But this will actually give me my three camels. So you know what? I can actually do it. So never mind. Um, actually, I can do it with a four as well. So that's fine. So let me replace this with a six. Sorry for the takesy backsies, but I'll show you next turn. I'm going to do a cool combo. All right, so next is going to be green. And what does green want to do? Uh, green wanted to move one here uh, with his contract. He is missing two gold pieces for that. Um, uh, seven, three, four. He can move one. And that'll be cheaper for him, which is good. He'll pay here, and then he'll just have to move one after. Um, 
So what he's gonna do is he's gonna move. Right, he's gonna be the first one to move. He's gonna spend two twos over here. Right, he just wants to move one spot. So he's gonna spend three dollars. Alright, and he's gonna move one spot. But this is gonna cost him seven dollars. Uh, which he doesn't have. So what he has to do is he has to sort of give up a die over here as a bonus action to get three bucks. Now he's gonna pay seven. Wow, that was expensive. Uh, but next turn, hopefully he'll be able to move over here and he'll be fine. All right, yellow's move is gonna be pretty simple, I think. Uh, all he's gonna do is gonna set both his dice to a one, <laughs> just so he doesn't have to pay a lot. He's gonna go over here, so that'll cost him one dollar. All right, after that, he's gonna have to pay three dollars. He's gonna pay a five, take back two. All right, to move once, he's gonna move once here. All right, so it's gonna cost him three camels. He's gonna take his three camel, place it here, and uh. That spot, so let me put his uh, trading house first. So when you enter one of these blue ones, because it's the first one you're going to see it, you get the benefit right away, and every round from now on, you're also going to get it again. All right, so he gets two different goods. So obviously, he'll take a purple one and a gold one. Always a good idea. All right, there you go. That was his turn. He only has, he has no more dice. So unless he pays for dice, uh, he's pretty much done. But he's probably going to pay for another black die because... You know, he's has a ton of camels. All right, next is going to be my turn. And what, all right, now it's my turn. So I'm going to show you something interesting. So let's look at my player board area here. Um, so I need to go get more camels first. So I'm going to show you in a couple seconds. My next turn is going to be pretty interesting. All right, not this one. So I'm going to play my uh, six over here. So I'm going to get to take two uh, contracts because I don't have any contracts. And I for sure want to take this one because this one's going to give me two camels. And I really need that camel for my next combo move. I'm going to grab the two camels here. All right. And what else am I going to take? I think because I already have two gold pieces. I mean, one can go here, but this one's super easy for me to complete. I already have the two gold pieces, so I just need a brown and I'll be able to get a black die. I'm going to take these two. Put them on my board right there. All right. So I only got two dice left. Uh, next is going to be green. So green has two dice left as well. I think he's going to use a six over here. So that's going to give him two camels. Um, and I'll give him a gold, but then he's going to complete a contract. So he's going to complete this one. So let's just put all this stuff away. Oh, and two camels. Boom. So this is going to give him a free move and nine points. So the move he's going to do is this one. So that's going to cost him three more camels. So now he's completely out of camels. One, two, three. So that was good that he went there. All right. Uh, and nine points. So he's at five, so it's gonna be 14. Okay. Um, so I already gave him his move. So he's gonna stop his movement there. And here he gets to put out a house and this is gonna give him $5. And every single round he's gonna get $5. So let's give him some money. Uh, and he gets to put a house, trading post. There you go. All right, so now uh, sort of yellow has to go, but they don't have any dice left. So what they're gonna do they're actually going to spend a three camel and you can spend a three camel to get a black die. So they're going to get a black die. And what are they going to do with this? Um, I think what they're going to do is they're going to actually place it as a six on the coffee spot. So they're going to get four coffee. Um, yeah, four black. I don't even know if it's coffee. I just have coffee on the mind because that's what the uh, in Istanbul... Uh, uh, icons like this mean so he's gonna get four of these and, and then he's gonna complete a contract as well so he's gonna complete this one so this is gonna cost him three purple two of his coffee that he just got and two camels and what does he get out of it a black die so he gets to set it to whatever number he wants one of any good and five points so we'll let him take another gold right, and we'll give him five points and he gets to keep this. Is there anything else he needs to do? No, he's done. Now it's back to me and I'm gonna finally show you what I wanted to do since the beginning. I'm gonna place my dice. All right, so I'm gonna do a travel action. So I'm gonna travel for four. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna travel for four. Let me math it out. I think I only need to travel for three. 
uh, I don't uh, I don't think I have enough to travel again so I'm gonna pay four just to do that spot all right so I'm gonna pay ten get back six all right so now I paid to put the dice next I have to pay for the action I want to do whether I do three or four it's twelve dollars so I'm gonna pay twelve dollars to move so ten eleven twelve all right, so there you go. So I paid, so now I get to do a three or a four movement. I'll decide as I go. So I think what I want to do is go one, two. And that's going to cost me two camels. Two camels from my board, one, two. And then I think I only need one more movement because I don't have the, uh, because I actually want to stop on that spot. Because uh, remember, it's something I didn't mention at the beginning of the video. You only get the benefit from the cities when you stop there. That's when you put the trading post. So I'm only going to move one more here. And that's going to cost me three camels. So that's why I really needed to get those camels because now I'm out of camels. All right. And that ends my movement because I moved three. Now what I'm going to do is put two trading posts out. I'm going to put one here. Put one here. So I get the benefit from the two sections as well. So I'm, this one's going to give me three camels. So one, two, three. And that one's going to give me uh, two goods that are not the same. I might as well take a purple and a gold. Actually, I could take a, uh, a uh, coffee here and I'd be able to complete this uh, contract right now. But then is there a point of me having a black die right now or should I keep it for next turn? um let me see what else can i do with a black die with one die i would be able to get more camels eh. you know i'll keep it for next turn because next turn i'll be first player because i'm on top there so i'm going to take these two resources and i think that's good for now all right and pretty much that was my turn so that's what i did so now green has one die left oh sorry i forgot to slide these down when i took my contract uh what does he want to do with this um, I guess I'll go for camels because he has no more camels. So he's gonna go get five camels. Three, four, five. Boom, and just like that, everyone's out of dice. Oh, actually, we're not all out of dice. <laughs> Yellow's left. Uh, Yellow had one die left and he really wanted to get camels as well. He sort of got shafted. Um, oh man, now he's gonna have to pay if he does this. Uh, so what he's gonna do, he's actually gonna set this to a one. He's gonna play it here. Because right, technically you're only allowed to be here in once, but because uh, this is a black die, he can sort of break that rule. He's going to actually go in here for a once. He's going to have to pay $1 and make back five. Probably good because he doesn't have that much cash. All right. And there you go. That's the end of the round. Like usual, take the contracts, toss them away. All right. We're going to refill them. All right, all right, so that's the end of the round. Now we're gonna start the round. So what do you do at the start of the round? We're gonna give the first player marker to the person on the top of the stack here. So that's a be me. All right, next you're gonna give out all the exclamation bonuses. All right, so what do I get? I get three camels and two goods of my choice of there that don't match. So uh, I'm gonna get three camels, one, two, three. I also do get a camel from that. So I'll give myself another one and I get two goods that don't match. I think I'm actually going to take one brown and one purple uh, so that I can sort of get both of these done at the same exact time. Uh, so I'm going to get a brown and a purple. I think I'll be able to at the start of my turn next turn do both of these, which is good. So those are all my bonuses. Now let's do that for the other players. Green is just going to get five bucks. So he's going to get five bucks every round, which is fantastic. It's going to pay for his travels across the board. And uh, yellow is going to get two different goods just like I did. I think he's going to go for a purple and a gold. Why not? It's pretty much set up to do a bunch of contracts as well. All right, next we're going to retrieve our dice. Uh, one, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, uh, five. Oh, green gets his white dice as well. Yellow's gonna get theirs. Alright, and then we're gonna roll. Alright, here we go. Let's roll those dice. Alright, wow, three sixes, a one, and a two, which is pretty good. Alright, so I'm gonna keep these on my board. 
All right, so uh, before I even do my turn, by the way, I gave uh, I rolled the dice for the other players, and I did forget to give Green a free contract because he's a Matteo Polo. All right, so I did that already. All right, so uh, before I even do anything, I think I'm gonna complete these contracts. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna complete this one first. So this is gonna be one gold, one purple, and one brown, and three camels. It's gonna be all this. And this isn't going to allow me to get one good of my choice. I'm going to get a, pr a brown one so I can get this one done. So I'm going to complete this. And this one gives me six points. So I'm on four. I go to ten. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to complete this one. So this one's going to be two gold and a brown. And two camels. Right. And this is going to give me a black die and five points. So I'm going to give myself five more points. I'm at 15. And it gives me a black die. So whenever you get a die, got to roll it. And it's a one. Fantastic. Uh, put it over here. All right. And I'll put all these resources back. All right. So what do I want to do? So I'm just surveying the board. And. Honestly, at this turn, I just need one movement because I'm not going to get $15 to do this movement and I need to stop at that city. So I'm just going to do one movement to stop in that city. And then after that, from there and there, next turn, I'd be able to do, like, let's say, one, two, three, four movements. So if I can gather enough cash or a ton of cash, I might be able to do multiple moves here uh in the next few turns but my this turn i don't see a way for me to move multiple spaces so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna move once now what are my options for moving once i can put a couple of ones over here and move once uh but that'll cost me some cash i think what i'd rather do is spend three dice here and move uh using this uh this it'll save me some cash because i do need 15 dollars and that's really expensive so that's what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna waste all my three sixes here all right, I'm going to place them on the spot over here, kind of unheard of. I'm going to get three gold and I'm going to move once. All right, I'm going to move once over here. All right, um, that's going to cost me two camels. Oh, thankfully I did have two camels left. I didn't even realize it. All right, and it's going to give me three gold. I'll just take a level three gold here. Um, but I also get the extra bonus here which is a black die so i'm gonna get a black die again give it a good roll and it's a six this time all right and uh i get to put out a house can't forget that boom there you go done done and done beautiful 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 so now it's gonna be green's turn and green's sort of in the same boat he just wants to move one as well and he'd rather get there when it's free so he's going to put a one and a two. Boom, just like that. He's going to pay one. Uh, he doesn't have to pay with all dollar here. He just has to pay three. He's going to pay five. Take back two. He's going to move once. He's going to move here. He's basically going to spend three camels and get three camels back. So basically he's just going to pay three, take back three. Sort of get what, what he's trying to do. And he's going to put a house there. And that's a pretty good spot for him because he generates a ton of cash because of that and for other reasons so he's going to be able to turn cash into goods to fulfill contracts so that's a really good spot for him and right, next let's go to yellow so yellow again uh, he wants to move one as well uh he needs a lot of cash too uh although moving one won't be that expensive but he's looking around the board what else can he do uh, to fulfill his contract, he needs a no, he can actually fulfill his contract now, so he'll do it now. So, this is going to be two purples, one, two, a gold, and two camels. So, this is going to give him four points and four camels. So, three, four. And so, it's going to go in his completed pile. So, I think what he's obviously going to do is gonna put a six here he has no more contracts he's gonna go get more contracts while it's free so i think he's gonna get this one for sure because it's gonna be cash he's gonna take two dollars because he needs it all right and what else does he want this gives him a contract so he's not gonna grab a contract one i think because he wants the cash as well um 
or does he want the camels? He doesn't generate camels, so he can take this one if he wants, because um, he's going to need camels to go further down there and to cross here. So he's going to need at least five camels. Yeah, and he needs camels. So, although for him it's easy to generate camels. Uh, let's see. He's looking at his goods, and he can fulfill this right away to get a black die. Um, so yeah, that's what he'll do. He's actually going to take this, so he can fulfill it right now. He's going to take these two, or he's going to fill this one out right away. All right, he's going to give up uh, three kills, uh, one of each. All right, and this is going to give him five points. He's on 13, so that brings him to 18. And he's going to get black that. Again, gets to set it to whatever he wants. And this one is going to go in a stack. So just to give you a recap, he's at four contracts, green's at two, and I'm only at three. So, so far yellow is ahead in contracts. All right, so that was yellow's turn. Now let's come back to my turn. So what do I want to do? Um, I do need to get to 15 eventually. I do need a lot of cash. Um, I think my first move is going to be kind of uh, simple. Um, I'm going to use my two actually to place it. See, I want to place it here, but this is really tempting as well. <laughs> I do need contracts as well. Um, I do need to put at least two, and it'll give me these two contracts. Uh, if I put a six, I'll get a couple of these. Uh, but you know what? I'll just put my, I'll put my one there instead. Yeah, I'll put my one, so it's gonna give me five dollars. Pretty simple. All right, so I already know green is behind in the contract game. So let me see what he can do to get some contracts. Uh, he doesn't want to move this round again. He need he already has two contracts. He's not going to go on the contracts. He's probably going to either stay in the bazaar or over here to fulfill a contract. Right now, all he has is coffee. But you know what he's going to do? He's going to fulfill this contract right away before the last black die disappears. So he's going to do this one. So it's going to be one camel and three coffee. One, two, three. He's going to fulfill this. It's only two points. That's 16. And he gets the last black die. Just to roll it. Four. All right, now he starts to decide what he wants to do. Um, he does need a lot of gold and a lot of uh, coffee as well for his other contract. Uh, so what I think he's gonna do is just gonna put a six over here just to get four of the coffee back. All right, that'll help him with his next contract. All right, next is gonna be Yellow's turn. Yellow's free to do whatever he likes. Um, he does want to move one as well. So uh, I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to set this to a one and a one. Boom. Um, yeah, he's going to do that. He's going to pay one and three is four in total. So five, take back one. Uh, actually, he can't do that just yet. Wait one second. He does not have camels. Let me... Uh, Take that back, sorry about that. So I think what he's gonna do, just to get camels, he's gonna come over here, he's gonna take six camels, just because he can. All right, he doesn't generate a lot of camels, so he's gonna, that's why I didn't take the one with the camels, because he can just put a six there and get six camels anyway. All right, so that was his move, now it's back to me. Okay, my turn's gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna use a one, I'm gonna place it right here. And I'm going to go get a gold and two camels. Alright. Uh, next is going to be green. And green has a ton of dice still. Uh, he can't move again. He doesn't need a contract. He needs a lot of gold. So I think... I think he's going to come here. Uh, I think he's going to go there with his black die. So he's going to spend two. Uh, yeah, he's gonna get two camels and he needs a gold. Fortunately, he needs two more gold to sort of finish that contract, which might take a while. Is there any of these that he can fulfill? I mean, if he can get the last gold, he can do one of these two. He doesn't have any purples, so there you go. So now it's gonna be Yellow's turn, who can pretty much go wherever he wants. Um, and I think yellow is going to do the move for the, the cash. So what they're going to do is they're going to spend 
two sixes here. You're gonna grab four purples. Boom. Because they know I'm not gonna do it because I don't have any buy. Well, I just have one purple, so I'm not gonna waste a die there. And next turn, they're gonna get a ton of money. All right. Um, they do also have to keep in mind that they do want to keep two dice to move. Oh, that's actually their two dice that they wanted to move. Actually, they're gonna move. And then they're going to go first next turn to do that move to get a ton of cash. So there you go. They're pretty much set up for the rest of the round. Uh, so they did their turn. Now it's back to me. Um, I have two dice. Um, I do want to move, use these two dice. One to get contracts and the other one to do either cash or this. Um, I'm going to get a ton of camels later. So I think I'm going to use it for cash. So since I want to use my two for cash and... It's going to net me $3 anyway. Oh, that sucks. So I can might as well just go here for 3 bucks. Uh, oh, actually, wait. If I put the 6 here, it's going to cost me $6. Okay, never mind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my 2 there. It's going to cost me $2. 1, 2. And I'm going to take these two contracts. Alright. There you go. So that's fine. I'll always slide over. All right, now it's going to be green's turn. Uh, so they still need a ton of gold. So thankfully nobody went here. So they're going to get a gold and two more camels again. All right. Uh, well, I took that spot that he wanted. So that sucks for him. But anyway, so now it's yellow's turn. So they're going to turn these into a couple of ones. They're going to spend $1. Uh, they're going to spend three more dollars. All right, and then they're gonna move once. They're gonna go here. They're gonna add their trading post and they're pretty much done for the round. And it's gonna be my last turn for the round. I got one die. What do I do with this one die? All right, so, I mean, it's not the most ideal case. I think I'm just gonna play it there to get three coins and there, that'll be my turn. I don't really have another option, to be honest. I don't really wanna pay six bucks to get this stuff because uh, I need to save my money for this crazy 15 movement over here um, and maybe even the 5 movement there unless I go for the camels but I do want to reach Beijing first to get the 10 points um, so there you go there's my round only green has dice left he has a 5 and a 3 so what does he want to do um, uh, I think I think what he's going to do is he's actually gonna pay four camels he's gonna pay four camels to raise to raise a die value by two so he's gonna raise this into a five so it's for every pip it's two camels so he paid four camels to raise it by two and then he's gonna pay five dollars to play it here five All right, he's gonna get three purples Right, a camel and a dollar. And there you go, we're done the round. So easy easy cleanup again, remove the contracts, put all the new contracts out. Ooh, the movement ones are out, those are the ones I like. Alright, next we're gonna get the uh, exclamation point stuff. So I'm gonna get four camels, so three plus my guy, so four. Um, I'm also gonna get two different goods. Um, looking at my board here, I definitely need a gold because that's a lot of gold, and I'm probably gonna take a a brown, I guess. <laughs> um, oh boy, that is a lot of brown. <laughs> All right, let me take a brown. All right, so that's a gold and a brown. Although technically, I should have taken two browns. No, because I need four four goods. Uh, so I needed the extra gold. All right, so I'm good there. Uh, let's give out the stuff for the other players. Green's gonna get five dollars there, and they're gonna get a free contract because of their power. All right, and yellow's only gonna get two different goods, so they're gonna get a gold, and they're gonna get a coffee because they needed to actually complete the contract. Actually, instead of the gold, they're gonna take a purple then. Purple and coffee. 
All right, then we get our dice back. So let's make this quick. All right, and then we're gonna roll. All right, so here we go. Start of round four. Uh, yellow is first. I actually forgot to give him the first player marker, but he has it now. And their first move is gonna be pretty simple. They're gonna put a six on this spot over here. So they get to do that conversion six times. Obviously, they're not gonna do it six times, but they're gonna do it four times. All right, so one, two, three. You know what? They're gonna do it five times. They're okay with that. Five and five. There we go, five and five. All right, <laughs> they're gonna get forty dollars. Eight times five, forty. So they're gonna get twenty. That's ten. Boom! And just like that, I think they're good for money till the rest of the game. All right, there you go. Pretty awesome move by Yellow. All right. Uh, next is going to be me. All right, what do I want to do? I do want to just get a ton of coffee so I can do a contract. So I do want to put a die here. Oh, actually, I did forget to draw, uh, roll my dice at the beginning of the round. Hopefully, I roll at least one six. There you go. Roll a couple of ones as well. So I'm going to place a six here. That's going to give me four coffee. But you know what? I'm going to not even take them because I'm going to start turning them in. I think I'm going to turn in this contract here. Uh, so I'll take one coffee back from the supply. Um, I'm going to get rid of two uh, gold and two camels. This is a three, so I'll get back one. All right, so this is going to score me six points. 21. And it'll give me, more importantly, seven gold. So I am at 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Is that going to be enough to tr cross this 15? Uh, I wish I had like 40 gold as well. So I can go 15 and then another 10 to get over there. All right. So now it's going to be Green's turn. Um, I didn't actually look at what he should do. Um, he does need one more gold to satisfy a contract. So what he's going to do is he's going to place one here. And that's going to give him his gold. And two camels. Now he's going to fulfill a contract. He's going to do this one for sure. So it's going to be three gold. One, two, three. Uh, two. So this is a three. Get back a one. And two camels. All right. So this is going to give him nine points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, which is huge. And two goods of his choice. Ah, let him take a gold and a purple. Alright, he's gonna keep this. Alright. So that was his turn. Uh, actually wait. Yeah, that was his turn. He played a die here. Could he fulfill his other contract? He could and he's gonna do it now. Alright, <laughs> might as well. So he's gonna fulfill this one. So it's gonna be three camels. One, two, three. Uh, one of each. One, two, three. And he's going to get five points for that. All right. And he gets to move his guy once. So he's going to go into the oasis. Done. Actually thinking about it, maybe he'd move and then use it. Probably be a better idea. Because uh, if he can move two, one, two, and then move one, he'd be able to reach Beijing in a, with that contract. All right, but you know what? I already moved. Uh, he actually has to come down here as his, uh, for his objective. So it doesn't really matter. I did his move. Let's go to yellow. All right, so yellow's got an easy decision to make. I think he's just going to go, you know, just to steal it from me because I was going to jump on Beijing next to get the 10 points, but I think he's going to do it first. So he's going to put a couple of ones here. So he's going to move twice. So that's going to cost him seven plus the five there. So 13 in total. At this point, he doesn't care about money. He's got so much. He's going to move twice. Actually, he has to move three times. Never mind. Doesn't really matter. He's going to pay an extra $5. Right, he'll move again. 
And basically you'll get to put a house there. And that'll give him 10 points at the end of the round right there. Uh, what else does he want to do? You know what? I think he's going to finish his contract. So he's going to pay two camels, uh, two coffee, and a gold. And he's going to fulfill this contract. So that's going to give him four points. And he's going to get another contract. All right, so that was a pretty good turn. So that kind of screwed me over because technically I was going to race there to try and get it. Um, man. Because uh, I was going to go one, two, three. as a three movement to go there. But now if I have a one, two, three and a four movement, that's going to cost me 12 plus 15. I need 27 in total. Uh, I have 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2. I have 22, I need five more dollars and I'd be able to do it. Um, uh, I would also need more camels. <laughs> uh, I also do want one more coffee so that I can finish this and get a ton of camels. Um, and I do want to keep also my six so I can get two more contracts. So my roll was not very good and it's kind of screwing me over. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my one to go over here. It's going to give me a coffee, but I'm going to use it to complete that, that objective. So that doesn't matter. But more importantly, I'm also going to get two camels. All right. Um, then I'm going to complete that. So that's my other two coffee. Okay. So that's going to be seven points and five camels. Five camels. So because I have so many camels, I think I'm going to spend three camels to take a black die. So you can only do this once per turn to pay for it. That's good. I got a six. All right. Now I still have to do my action. <laughs> uh, I Technically could use my six. Actually, no, I did my action. It was to place my die here. Um, I should have actually got the contract first. But anyway, no, actually, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Because I needed the good here to finish my contract. So next turn, I'll probably go here. All right, so green's going to go next. Um, and they just need to move one as well to go here. Um, problem is they rolled way too high. <laughs> Uh, they used their one here, but now their lowest die is a three. Um, and they have no camels. They need camels to sort of cross here because it's a four camel spot. Um, and they don't have the cash to do the double movement to beat me there in Beijing. So do they want to come here? Because this, this will satisfy their goal as well. So it's going to be a bonus goal plus three points. I think they're okay with that. So they're going to come over here. They're going to spend a three and a four, unfortunately. Um, actually, they need to get camels first. My bad. Um, I think they're going to spend a four. Actually, you know what? So that they can get the goods as well. Let them put a four here. They're going to get two camels that they need anyway. And the good, they're gonna take a goal. All right, yellow's turn. Yellow's pretty happy they made it all the way to Beijing. What else do they wanna do? They wanna complete a contract and they pretty much have nothing. <laughs> they have no goods, they have absolutely nothing. Um, they could go here to generate a black die and I think that's what they're gonna do. They're gonna come here to get six, but they're only gonna take three and spend the other three on a black die, and they're gonna turn this into a six. All right, so that was their turn. So they netted, you know, just three camels because they got the die back, basically. All right, now it's gonna be my turn. So I do need to get a contract. Um, I mean, sure, let's use these six on a contract here. I'm gonna grab this one for sure so they can give me two bucks. I'll take that from the general supply. 
And what else do I want? I want to get one of them with movement for sure, for sure, for sure. And I'm not too worried about the points. I don't think the points are going to be that hard to come by. Uh, it's only a two point difference. I think I'm going to take this one because it's a lot easier to finish off. So I'm going to keep this one here. So everything's going to slide over. All right, so now it's going to be Green's turn. All right, well, Green, we already knew what he's going to do. He's going to come over here. He's going to pay three. Plus three, so we'll go back two, to move one. He's gonna move down here. He's gonna have to pay four camels for that. One, two, three, four. Uh, he's gonna put out his house. That'll score him three points. All right, that's pretty good. Now it's gonna be yellow's turn. So yellow has two dice. Um, They could put a die up there to score four points. Uh, so if they go there, they score a point for every house they put out. Um, or they can get a bunch of purple, so next turn they can actually complete some contracts, which would be better than four points. Uh, what else can they do with... They don't need the contract right now. And they can't move because they already moved. So you know what they're going to do? They're going to come here and they're going to get four purples. All right, there you go. So they're pretty much done for the round. Now back to me. All right, I still got a six, a one, and a three. Um, if I do move, let's see, do I have the cash? So I uh, should have calculated this before. One, two, three, four, five. There's going to be 24. I'm missing $3. Uh, <laughs> I'm missing... So this is going to be 15. Let me just calculate this. This is going to be 15. All right. Uh, 15 plus 12 plus my die that I'm placing, which is a 3. So I'm actually 27 plus a 3. I'm going to need $30 uh, to move 3 times. Uh, that is really expensive. So that would be one, and this is two, three. I wouldn't even be able to reach the end. I would need to turn it into a four, which I could do, but then I have to pay an extra dollar, so it'll be five dollars. Um, so let me do that. All right, so I can do this round. So I'm going to place my one over here. So I'm going to get five bucks, and I'll be able to do next this turn. I'm going to show you this uh, insane maneuver I'm going to do. So I'm going to take five. All right, now it's going to be Green's turn. All right, green is going to use a five on this spot over here. So for every contract that they got done, they get $2. But this will tell you what your limit of contracts is. So they can check five contracts, which they do. So they're going to get 10 gold. All right, then yellow's done. So back to me. All right, and I got this. So pretty simple. I'm going to use two camels to change the three into a four. So I'm going to change this into a four. Where's the four? All right, then I'm going to play this over here. All right, so I have to pay four. And then I have to pay... So this is going to be all my money. I'm going to pay four plus... Oops. Just put this here. I'm going to pay four plus 12. That's $16. All right, so that's 16. All right. So I get to move four. So now I'm going to move one two three four all right so i have to pay three camels there and fifteen dollars there three camels 15 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 13. uh so five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so that's pretty much everything i have All right, um, I already paid the camels. All right, so uh, I paid. So this is gonna give me three points. And that's gonna let me put out my house. I get to put out two houses actually. One over here and one on the seven spot over here. All right, there you go. So I'm done. Green's last. He has one die left. What does he do with one die? I mean, he's not going to put on the money, 
You know, not gonna spend six dollars to get five back. That would be pretty dumb. <laughs> uh, he's not gonna go get contracts because he doesn't have. Uh, does he have any other spot on the board? I think what he's gonna do is gonna come here. And I think he's gonna spend. Let's see. He's gonna spend uh, all ten. Why not? And he's gonna get five different goods. So he's gonna spend for every two bucks, he gets a good. So he can actually spend an extra two, but he'd rather keep the money. So he's gonna get a ton of goods to try to complete contracts next turn. So you know what? He's gonna get uh, two gold and two purples. Why not? And a brown. There. Boom. There's five goods. Now he's stocked. Actually, instead of the extra purple, he'll get another uh, gold. All right. So there you go. That's the end of the round. So, like usual, let's clean up. Right, I'm going to be first player because I was the last one to take this action. All right. We're going to get all our dice back. I'll do this in a little bit. Uh, we're going to get our income. So uh, me and green are both going to get three points. And then I'm going to get three, four camels, like usual. Uh, green's going to have five and a contract. And then me and yellow are going to get two different goods. We're all going to take a purple and a gold, obviously. Actually, purple is going to take a brown. All right, so there you go. Uh, let's refill the contracts. I forgot to do that at the end of the round. All right, we're just going to come back and then we're going to roll. All right, so I'm up first. Let's take my dice, roll them for the round. And whoa, that's a lot of high numbers. Okay. Um, and I sort of want to make, thank God I'm first and I have those high numbers because it's going to cost me a lot to do some of these actions. Um, so I think what I'm going to do first is complete a contract uh, to get a black die because those are limited resources and I don't want other people to get them before I do. So what I'm going to do is place a die here. So I'm going to play my four. All right, so I'm going to get a gold and two camels. All right, and I'm going to complete this contract. So two camels, uh, two gold and a purple. All right, and this is going to give me six points and a black die. All right, now, before my turn ends, as a bonus action, I am going to spend three camels to get another black die. So, uh, I won't be able to buy another black die, but uh, I'd rather buy them now while they're there and not when they disappear. All right, so I technically only wasted one die and I got two back, which is fantastic. All right, next turn, maybe I can do this and we'll see what else I want to do. All right, now it's going to be Green's turn. What does Green want to do? Green has a ton of resources. Uh, he just has no camels whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you can try to get a contract for camels, but... Uh, I mean, what's the best way for him to get camels? Uh, I think he's just going to put a six here. And get six camels. One, two, three. So that he can start completing contracts. And he's going to start doing that right away. He's going to do this contract. Just three gold. So one, two, three. And one camel. So this is going to give him one of any good. He's looking at this row over here. And uh, since he has a lot of purple already, he's going to grab gold, just in case he needs the gold. He's going to grab a gold. And it's going to give him six points. So he's way out in front. Yellow is lagging behind. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, but we'll try to make him catch up in a little bit. But now it's Yellow's turn. Uh, what does Yellow want to do? Uh, Yellow wants to complete his contract. And he just needs one brown resource for that. And that gives him a black die as well. So what he's going to do, he's going to come here. He's going to get the brown resource, but then he's going to use uh, the other brown and two purples. 
is a three, he's gonna back a one. And he's gonna use up two camels. He's gonna give up a three, take back a one. To finish this, it'll give him a black die. And it'll give him five points. Let's keep this. All right, there might be a race for these contracts because everyone has a full board free of contracts. So we might have to pay a lot of money for that. But now it's back to me. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. I do really want to complete this contract and that'll be really useful so I can move uh, that extra space uh, for free. And if I move that, then it's, but it'll cost me 10. I need to figure out how to get 10 bucks as well. Uh, all right, so first thing I'm gonna do, just because I have a bunch of sixes here, is I'm gonna use a six on the brown resource to get the four brown. And that'll pretty much do it for my turn, unless I get the three brown. Um, Cause that'll help me do the contract, plus it'll be the two bucks that I need to maybe move here. Uh, no, I'll take the four brown. So three, four. I'll take the three, four. I do need an extra purple uh, before the end of the round to finish that contract, but we'll get to that later. Now we're down to green's turn. All right, green's turn is pretty simple. I think they're gonna put a three here. They wanna get two contracts, and I think the ones they want are uh, probably these two. All right, he's gonna get the one with the most points on the board. And this one's pretty easy as well because he already sort of has the resources for this. He'll keep it. And you know what? He'll sort of do this one right away. There's going to be two camels, uh, two gold, which he has, and three purple, which he has. Right here. So it's going to be eight points, 50, and four camels. There you go. All right, yellow's turn. So what does yellow want to do? Yellow wants to get contracts as well. Uh, but he'll turn his, which ones does he want? He really wants this one. Or this one. I think these two would work well for him. So he's going to turn this into a three. So he's going to pay three bucks for that. He's going to take these two. Can't, con can't complete any right now, so that's his turn. Slide this down. All right, then it's back to me. Uh, what do I wanna do? All right, I think I'm gonna use a five, and I think because I need cash, I think I'm gonna use it here. So because I have six contracts complete, I'm gonna do five times two, because it's even. I would have to put a six for it to be, uh, you know what, let me pay two camels. Uh, should I do that? Do I need camels for the rest of the game? I don't think I do. This is gonna cost money. That's gonna cost that. Uh, my contracts actually do need camels, so never mind. Uh, yeah, so let me leave it as five. So that's just gonna give me ten gold. All right, so that's gonna be the ten gold I need to cross right over there. Let's keep this right over there. All right, now it's gonna be Green's turn, and Green needs. Let's see, what does Green need? Um, to complete another contract, he needs a purple. Uh, but this is a six and he doesn't have a six. Uh, he can go put two here, but it's kind of a waste. Is there any other way for him to get purple? Yes, there is with this uh, amazing spot for him. Uh, so what he's going to do is he's going to spend a... Actually, wait, he's got five, six, seven, eight. I mean, he wants to reach here too, uh, but he needs money. Uh, he's only got eight. That's going to cost four. He's still missing some cash, so he's going to put a four here. To get five cash so that next turn you can do both i think uh, well next turn he's going to do that and then he'll be able to do that as well i think that's probably good uh we're going to go to yellow so yellow needs a gold to do yellow needs a gold and a camel so he's going to obviously go here you get a camel two camels actually and a gold He will actually turn them in for this. So it's going to be two gold, uh, purple, and two camels. All right, and that'll be six points. 
and four camels. So let me get that. Um, all right, so that was his turn. Now it's back to me. Um, I can either go for the one purple and that'll make my guy move and I have the 10 gold to pay for this. Um, I do also want to move my guy down here, but this will give me my $3 that'll pay for this $3. So you know what? I'll do that first actually. So what I'm going to do is spend A yeah, that's probably my best move. I'm gonna spend a four and a one. I'm gonna move only once. That'll be three dollars. So I'm gonna get the three dollars back, but I'll just show you. I spend the three dollars. I'm gonna move once. It's a free move. I'm gonna get a camel and three dollars back. So I'll just get the three dollars back and I'll get a camel. All right, and I get to put a house out. All right, this is pretty simple. Uh, and then we're gonna go to Green's turn. All right, green's gonna try to get there before I do. So um, they're gonna spend two dice uh, to go here. So that's two bucks plus three plus ten. Pretty much broke. They're gonna move once. They're gonna come to Sum Sumutra, Sumatra, however you say it. They're gonna put a house here. All right, and they're gonna get a contract. So let's see what they get and that's terrible for them they can't com com complete it all right so that was their turn now it's going to be yellow's turn um so yellow 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 needs some brown to complete a contract so they're gonna come over here they'll spend six bucks actually they can set it to whatever they want uh, they only need two but although if they get this one they'll still be missing <laughs> so, um, they have a ton of cash, so let them go for, f let them go for six, doesn't really matter. Plus the extra goods, if they don't use it, they're extra points at the end of the game. So they're going to pay six for that. And they're going to get four brown. Um, they're going to complete this contract, so this is going to be uh, one purple. Uh, two brown and two camels. That's gonna be three points and two of any good. I think they're looking down here. I think they're gonna take a brown and a gold. Why not? All right. Okay, so back to me and. I don't think I have a choice. Um, I just do need to do one more movement, but I also need one more purple to do that movement. So I'm going to use these two and I'm pretty much going to go right over here. And at this point, if I raise up my two, so if I use two camels, I can raise them to a five. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend four camels. I'm going to raise this into a four actually. Sorry. Boom. It's going to go up here. So I'm going to get three purples, All right? Then I'm going to complete this contract. So it's going to be three of the, oh, I couldn't do it actually because of moving camels. So uh, let me put one purple back, sorry. Uh, one purple back. So I would have been on the three. So I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to get a camel instead. And I'm going to actually get two of my camels back. Oops. All right, so now I can pay for it. So three plus two plus two. All right, so I complete the contract. Pay for this. That's me five points and I get to move, which is the $10 here. One, two, three, four, five. $10 was for this. Get to put on my last house. First time ever that I put all my houses out. See if that helps. All right, but that doesn't give me a bonus. 
And I'm pretty much done. Only green has one die left. All right, so what green's gonna do is actually gonna, he's gonna pay three camels to take this black die. He's gonna roll it. Doesn't really matter what it rolls. He's gonna get three coins for it. And then he's gonna play this here to exchange it for purples. So he's gonna get two purples. Um, and then he's gonna complete this contract here. So it's gonna be two camels, uh, two purples that he just got, and a brown. He's gonna get back three bucks. And four points. Across the 50, 50 point line. All right. And there, so green's done for the game. I'm done for the game. Only yellow's left. He's got two dice left. Um, I think what he's going to do is he's got $16 left. So what he's going to do is he's going to spend six here. That's $6 there. And so he's going to pick up both these contracts. Doesn't matter. He'll only be able to fulfill one. Then he's going to pay the other six over here to get four goods. It's going to complete this one here. So three, four brown and a camel. So it's going to be three points. All right, and a contract, which doesn't really matter. Because, well, it was a small chance actually that if this was a brown, he would have been able to fulfill it, but it's not. Uh, this goes into a stack, so I think he's going to get the most contracts done, but we'll see how that ends. So now we're all out of dice, alright, so that's the end of the game. Alright, so end game scoring, I already gave the other players their end game points, but I'll just go through it. It's at the bottom of your player aid, so the first thing is you're going to look at your, uh, your cards over here and see what you score. Um, so I made it to Axie Gnachi, so that's 8 points, which is huge. And then on this side... Uh, I made it to Anxi again and Karachi. Uh, no, Karachi was in the middle here. I didn't make it, so that's fine. So if I calculate these all together, I only made two places, so that's three. Okay. Uh, next, you're going to score a point for every 10 gold you have left. Not going to happen. Then I'm going to score my seven points there. is huge and then for every two goods I actually forgot to do that for yellow so yellow would score an extra two for every two goods if you reach Beijing for every two goods you'll score an extra point and I'll score one extra point because I got two goods so that's one point all right and I already gave the person with the most uh, contracts which was yellow the seven points at the end of the game and there you go so I ended up winning uh, yellow second and green third play so that's how you play marco polo hope you enjoy it please subscribe to my channel if you can i'll see you in the next one later